show really is about the loss of innocence. Um, we took the idea from a Philip Larkin poem called 1914, which he wrote on the 50th anniversary of the First World War in 1964. Never such innocence, never before or since, has changed itself to past without a word. This project started when uh, Chris and I started discussing uh, poetry and music from the First World War. There were so many great pieces of music um, from the First World War, or oh, from around then, like by W.C. Ravel, that I was aware of. What we wanted to do was create a sort of cycle which uh, take, takes poems uh, that aren't necessarily connected, but which follow a sort of narrative which take us through uh, an experience of um, going from optimism. Now God be thanked, who has matched us with his arm. Through to shock and horror and loss. His body that was once so quick is not as you knew it, on Severn River, under the blue, dry... ...and eventually into a, an almost sort of spiritual space um, we call the journey within. Move him into the sun. Gently. And to intersperse that with letters and documents about Percy O'Key, my great uncle, who, uh, who was a, a private soldier in the war and died at the end of it. Dear sisters, many thanks for your welcome letter. I see by the papers this morning that things are looking a bit brighter. We felt it instinctively to start with that there would be uh, a, a link between the music and the words. There's a sort of rhyming going on between the music and the, and the poetry. Banners and rolling drums, who'll stand and bite his thumbs? Will you, my laddie? But also there was a certain violent anger, I think, um, the experience that the soldiers were having, the experience that people were having at home about the senseless loss of life. Dulci et decorum est! Propatria Mori! There's a feeling of intense pain. And it becomes a great sort of cry of despair um, as to why these things have been allowed to happen. It kind of brings us back, back to zero almost. And then from there, we can live again. It's silence I must hear and obey, that I may lose my way and myself.